Hi my friends, it's Devin here. It has been a while since my last video. Um, I apologize for that. I'll get into it a little bit later as to where I've been, what I've been doing. Um, but in this video here, I want to talk about this painting. I want to show you how I created this abstract uh, painting using palette knives. This painting actually happened over the course of three days, so I want to do something a little bit different in this video. Um, I find I have a hard time painting like this and talking to the camera at the same time. I tend to focus more on this and less on you guys. So I figured let's just record the process, record the painting, um, talk about this intro, and then maybe do a little bit of a voiceover. I'm going to have to speed this up because this painting actually took multi, multi hours, maybe about uh, four or five hours of filming, and nobody's going to want to sit through that. So I'm going to speed it up exponentially. But if you do want to see things in a little bit more detail, you can actually slow this video down on YouTube. So if you click down at the bottom, there's a um, option to actually slow it down. All the information is just there. It's still there. I just sped it up for the sake of time to try to keep this video, um, you know, in a reasonable amount of time for someone to watch. But I think this turned out amazing. If you have not tried palette knives, I encourage you to try. I know most of you are here and watch my pouring videos, um, but this is a different technique. This is just as rewarding and I encourage everyone to give it a try. It's very easy to get started. So let's uh, jump into it and let's see how I created this. Also, let me know what you think about this video, uh, this format. If you like it, I can definitely create more like this. So here I am in uh, my makeshift art room, which just happens to be one of my basement bedrooms here. You can see I kind of set up, put a piece on the wall to protect it and uh, set up a table and have some paper down on the uh, hardwood floor to make sure I don't get any drips. Normally I work in uh, my garage on these larger format pieces, which is a heated and cooled garage. So kind of nice, but uh, here I am down in the basement. Um, you can see I did a little bit of a layout, a little bit of a kind of a pre-paint of a thinned out black. Um, along the areas that I knew were going to be kind of difficult to get proper palette knife coverage. I just didn't want the white of uh, the uh, canvas poking through in these areas, so I kind of just did a little bit of a, a pre-coat there. Um, so I'm starting with this kind of the center mass, this, this colorful totem in the middle of this painting, if you will. And really I'm only using a handful of colors. I think it's um, white is, is my base on everything here. You can see I'm mixing it on that um, scrap piece of paper and I think I'm using um, just a red, like a, a cadmium red and a, um, a deep blue, I think it's, um, I can't remember what version of blue, I'd have to check on that, but uh, just deep blue and I'm making different hues from those, uh, the pinks, the reds, the purples, the dark blues, light blues, everything in between, and I'm just kind of going to town here with the palette knife using just a, a small palette knife. Um, here I'm starting to spread the color out a little bit just to start um, building up those bases. The idea of this painting is layer upon layer upon layer, covering color up, covering color up, and uh, what it will do is it's going to give you your, that depth of color, that uh, you know little peaks of the color coming through, as well as really changing the depth and the um, the color of those those top coats. So here I kind of thought that. Um, you know, maybe my my colors that I put were a little, a little too intense, so I'm just starting to pepper some black in there just to mute it down a little bit. I, I, you know, I, I want it to be a statement, but I don't want it to be, um, you know, the whole painting. There's, there's much more to it than this little totem in the middle. So as I go to town here working on this painting, um, you know, as I mentioned in the intro, it's been a while since my last video. Uh, for that, I do apologize. Uh, things have gotten a little bit crazy. Uh, the world has gotten a little bit crazy. My life has gotten a little bit crazy. Um, I had my second son was born on February 12th, which was uh, about three months ago now. And uh, he came a couple weeks early, which which was fine. You know, we, we anticipated that. Um, but he came at the exact same time that this COVID-19 outbreak uh, started happening here in in Canada. So my eldest son, who's two and a half, uh, normally goes to Montessori school and, you know, that quickly um, was put on lockdown. So we have him at home. We have a three month old at home. Um, my wife is at home. Uh, she's on mat leave. 
I work from home, so to say the least, it's a full house. And to um, you know, throw more on top of that is uh, we're actually trying to sell the house. We're actually trying to downsize to something a little bit more manageable, so we can spend more family time together and less time just maintaining the house and the property. So the house is for sale. So we have to contend with showings during this time. Um, one of the reasons why my art room in the in the garage has been torn down because it had to be turned back into a garage so that we could sell this house or at least um, show the house it hasn't sold yet and uh, with things being what it is I, I don't think it's going to sell anytime soon so hence why I'm back to painting I set up this makeshift art room unfortunately I have all my cars back from the cottage they are back in the uh, garage so I can't work in there right now so this back bedroom will will have to do so here we are and that's where I have been so I'm hoping that things have, have changed and I can actually do more paintings and do more videos for you guys and uh, I'd really like to hear what you think about this format uh, kind of this uh, voiceover while I'm doing the work because um, like I said I have a hard time focusing on talking to you guys as well as as actually painting so I kind of just want to get in my zone turn my music on and, and, and go to town and paint so I can kind of do this voiceover and uh, post-process here while I'm editing the video and talk to you guys and talk to you kind of you know what I'm what I'm going through and what I'm working on in this painting so with my rambling you can see here I've started to kind of infill here um, you know just kind of picking colors that I think will go together uh, a lot of them are pastels and muted colors so white being the base with just hints of color thrown in um, sometimes I'm, I'm throwing in a little more bold as you can see with the uh, orange down in the bottom corner there that will actually end up getting covered up a little bit here um, just again you can see just muting it out but still having that little bit of, of orange popping through and and over the course of this video you're going to see actually I had layer upon layer so that orange disappears even more and more but in the actual finished painting you can still see it it's still poking through so as I mentioned this painting has taken um, about three days to complete four days if you count on the last day just adding a little uh, little extra touches here um, but day one was kind of that totem in the middle day two we're going to end up uh, finish up right here so you can see I'm kind of just mixing some final paint using up what I have um, you know I don't want to go to town I don't want to fill up this entire canvas all in one shot I want to build on it I want to uh, build on the process to create that uh, that nice big depth and you can see um, I started adding some uh, vertical lines basically just cutting it into the paint just to add some little extra elements uh, the totem will kind of be poking through there um, where I've added those those elements so uh, just you know using the smaller palette knife now I found uh, the big one I was using kind of the big cake spreader uh, was giving a little too much of um, a coverage, too much of um, um, a constant um, spread of the paint, I guess uh, the best way to explain it. You can see in the bottom left that orange and the white smear. It's a little too consistent for my liking. What I was looking for was a little more texture, a little bit more mess, I guess, and the smaller palette knives um, really help contribute to, uh, to get that. So again, you know, working some color and working those layers in, um, you know, I wasn't really feeling that orange down at the bottom at this point, so I decided to go with a, a nice deep burgundy, and just, you know, the orange is still present, and even in that final painting, that, that orange is still there, um, just much more muted. Um, so again, I'm only working with a handful of colors here, I think uh, there's kind of like a, a burnt yellow an orange, some purple, uh, a magenta, and uh, a white and black, uh, basically my color palette here, and I just work on different intensities uh, intensities from there. So you can see the painting starting to come together, the texture starting to come together. Um, really liking what I'm seeing along the top. And the bottom, um, at this point, I'm not quite feeling it. I feel like the bottom needs some work. Um, so I kind of just kind of let that go by the wayside and work on on what I'm liking and, and work. So I'm working with a lot of whites here and uh, it may look like a, a lot of white, but most of it it's um, it's pretty tinted. Uh, I mean I'm throwing a lot of pigment into this white. 
to really uh, bring out some, some depth into it. So I'm layering white on white on white, but with slight pigment changes, uh, changes throughout. And uh, so this is kind of, I think, where I'm, I'm deciding that uh, I'm going to call it a day. I think I've accomplished, you know, as much as I would want to in, in this one day. And I'll, I'll revisit it, uh, revisit the next. So just uh, tidying up, I may throw a little bit more paint on than I have uh, laying around on the, um, on the paper here just to make sure I utilize it all. But here we are on... Uh, on another day, different shirt, um, different day, and uh, again, I start off with the white. I really like how the uh, top portion of this painting is is coming together. So again, I'm just I'm layering um, day after day after day. I am putting uh, other layers on this paint, and it really comes through. When you see this painting in in person, you can see that depth. You can see that color build up. Um, so don't be afraid. Also, if you if you hit a spot that you don't like, like that bottom corner that you can see I've been working on for a while, um, don't be afraid to just go right over top of it. That's the beauty of, um, of palette knife painting. Um, you know, when I do a lot of pour videos, I'd say probably 98% of the videos on my channel are acrylic pour videos. You kind of have almost a, a one-shot and done deal unless you want to start over. Um, palette knife painting is not that. You know, you work it, and you keep working it until you get it exactly uh, the way that you like it. And uh, you can't be afraid to try something new. And here I'm just kind of, kind of going with my feel. Um, you can see I start off with areas, I start off with colors, and I'm not feeling it, so I'll go over it with a different color. And I just here we are, a perfect example. I'm going over it with a beige. The black just it wasn't working next to that gray for me. So I went over with kind of like a gray beige and hid most of that black and uh, so that basically sums up this painting it's uh, three days of this layering paint um, over paint over paint and um, so sit back kind of listen to the music and enjoy the rest of the painting let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below I'd love to hear your feedback I'd love to hear what you think and really as I mentioned before let me know what you think about this format should I continue this type of format or should I just shut up and paint and you guys can watch it and not actually say anything? Um, let me know down in the comments below. Uh, also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. I'm hoping to create a lot more paintings now that, um, that I, this new normal is, uh, is kind of setting in. And I have my makeshift craft room, the makeshift uh, paint studio set up down in the basement. And uh, enjoy and let me know what you think of the results.